Hi, I'm Chelsea. And I'm Tony Northrup. And you're watching our portfolio review brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one platform for creating a fast and easy professional website or online portfolio. You can try it free for 14 days, no credit card needed. I highly recommend it just because it's a good exercise. Yeah, Squarespace is the best way to make your pictures look great. And setting up a portfolio is one of the best things you can do. It forces you to narrow down your pictures. Yeah. It lets you present them in a gorgeous way. And it's, it's not technical. It's really easy to set up. You can see mine at ChelseaNorthrop.com. I update it all the time. It's fun and it's easy. And if you decide you like it too, you can get 10% off with the coupon code PORTFOLIO by visiting Squarespace.com slash Tony. Yep. You get a 14-day free trial, no credit card required mm -hmm. or anything. But if you like it after that, use that coupon code uh, PORTFOLIO. Our first portfolio is Photographing the Wild Wilderness and Wildlife Photography Adventure Blog. Okay, so one of the things Squarespace can do is set up a blog for you. This is a Squarespace hosted site. And you can see they're having the homepage default to the blog. the blog. So here we see kind of a stream of pictures, what, whatever he's currently up to. Uh, great Osprey shots. Usually what we do is we review the portfolio, which is like your best work. This is more recent work, which might not be as best well, work. Well, I was but I do going like to say, I don't know if I like defaulting to the blog because people see your most recent work, not your best work. And people judge you by your worst picture. So let's go to the top and see if he has a portfolio in here. He does. Yeah. Wow. Great night shots. Yeah, this might be a better... Uh, set to start with. I like to lead people in with the pictures and then if they want to read my blog, it's kind of more of a commitment. I really like this star picture, um, but I don't think I would start with that one. I think I'd start with this picture instead. It's it's so much more colorful. Or this picture. That one catches my eye. Yeah, this, you want something eye-catching and it doesn't need to be your favorite picture or even your best picture, but something that has pop, something that has a simple composition that looks good in a thumbnail. Yeah, this is a great picture. I love that. I wouldn't necessarily lead with it, though. Beautiful picture. This is also, yeah, these are Ooh, all great cool pictures. Ooh, sliding rocks. Yeah, that's, these are gorgeous shots. That might be a good one to start with, too. I love gorgeous that. Gorgeous colors in it. I thought those were all great shots. I wouldn't say to remove any of them. No, but they look good. just a little reordering could help. Okay, so he's got, whoa. Fur and feathers. Wow, I love that full screen interface. That's something that oh, Squarespace beautiful. makes really easy to set up. And just look how gorgeous it is when it's immersive like that. Oh, I see. It's browsing between two categories, either fur or feather. So what are you in the mood for? Uh, fur. Fur? We see a lot of feathers around here. Aw. <laughs> I like the suave squirrel there. Okay. He's pimping. Could I interest you in an acorn? Got a ring-tailed oh, lemur, white-tailed deer. Antelope looks like. This picture, either you got to get in tighter or just cut it out, cut it out of the portfolio. That's a good shot too. All right, let's see what's in the feathers. The feathers. I love this le that duck picture that he leads with. Yeah, that's a great one to lead with. He's super adorable. Let's see if we can zoom in a little tighter. Oh. And just a perfect reflection on it too. The cedar waxwing. Yeah, and that's just mm. not. It doesn't hold up with the rest of the quality of your pictures. That's a really cool comp. Very nicely done. Everyone always says when a picture is a comp. Yeah, well, the reason I do it is we get, we'll see a picture like this and then we'll get readers saying, How do I, How do, do, that? I do that? And you cannot. The depth of field on the telephoto lens that was used to take the picture of the goose would cast the moon quite out of focus. So yeah. you cannot get that shot. They were probably taken with the same lens, maybe even at the same time, but they were definitely not in the same frame. And so I just don't like for people to be confused and wonder why they're not able to get that same kind of shot because it's impossible. But it's okay to be Remember creative the guy and that put things denied together. It? Yeah, yeah, I just threw a fit. We had and like left a battle. Group. He completely denied it being a comp when we were like, it's not physically possible. Yeah. Okay, let's keep going. Nice. Oh, let's see the duck. Yeah, I wanted to go back to that mallet. That's a. A nice shot, a good action shot. I probably might have used a little faster shutter. It, I, I like the motion in it. His face looks a little blurred, though. Handsome. Beautiful crane. Cute. Nice tom. This this tom could be cropped a little closer. There's less room above him than below him, mm -hmm. and there's, there's just too much foreground. grass down there. So crop that in a little bit. 
That's cute. Her eyes perfectly in focus. That's where you'd want it. Oh, great shot of the robins. Yeah, great interaction. There we go. Oh, oh that's a great shot. <laughs> we have so many shots of osprey in the nest, but none that good. You can tell a young osprey because their eyes are brown. And yeah. when they're older, they have see, a yellow eye. See the, Yeah, this highlights it perfectly. Yellow and nice and gold down here. You can tell when they're flying, too. Great shot. Uh, did I skip something? No, no, I guess not. I would weed out a few of those. Yeah, uh, and I don't think we need separate categories for fur and feathers. I'd combine those and weed them out. And just do a best of. Yeah. Let's see what's in the nature category. Oh, great shot so far. I, This is too complex, I think, it's to lead with. A bit busy. Yeah. Everybody likes the kind of feathery waterfall pictures. Take them with a long exposure. Mm -hmm. that, that looks, that could be longer. That looks like it's like half a second or so. We still see some action. Yeah. You want to be like a second and a half or two seconds. I like the use of just textures here. I like that kind of simple picture. This picture, that doesn't do anything for me. The moonshot is cool. But altogether. This I'd would be a good lead picture, I think. That's the one I like the best. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I'd say altogether his portfolio looks good. I love that flower picture. Yeah, you definitely have a strong portfolio. We're suggesting... Weeding out edits. a few pictures and then well, reordering look at a few this things. Picture really think about your first picture. Versus this picture. So yeah. it's about editing and it's about only showing people your best photos. Otherwise, they think this might just be a lucky shot. Yeah, so I'd get rid of this one and definitely keep that one. The light is just great. You also want to end on a strong picture. Yeah. Start on your best picture, end on your second best picture. These two are so beautiful. Yeah, those are the pictures I would lead with, Let's I see think. the about. Let's see who this is. Mike. Mike. He loves to be outdoors. He says a little bit about himself, but not too much. I like his picture. It shows him in action. And you can send him an email at his email address or fill out the form. So I like that he gives that option. I think his portfolio is clean. I don't think he has too many pictures, an overwhelming amount. I think he could just edit it down a little bit. Yeah, just to make it a, a bit categories. stronger. But I liked it. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, if you want, uh, our, we put all of our tips into a document for you that's free. Uh, you can go to sdp.io slash portfolio checklist and download it. It's just a checklist. Here's Jan Eric Edvartsen. I know Jan Eric. I think he's Is it the, the same owl. Jan Eric? I think he's the owl on YouTube. And I think it's the same person because. Oh, oh we yeah. Have re yep, reviewed yep. some of these individual photos. Yeah, too. I really like his work. He, he's very creative. Though, I mean, this layout, these are categories. We have 12 categories to go through. That makes it really hard. Like, don't you want to just see his best pictures? Wow. Those those are striking. I love this kind of yeah. abstract. This is some of my favorite type of photography. Yeah, that's this beautiful. one doesn't do anything for me. It's hard because he has a lot of beautiful pictures. I, I just wish he had one category that was his portfolio with 10 to 15. of Take his 10 to 15 out of all of these. Mm -hmm. And then maybe if you want to let people dig through the categories, you can do that. But these are just too many choices. See, this this category only had three pictures in it. Yeah, they could be combined. Like architecture could be a category, and he could you could pare down your pictures even more. He has a lot of architecture, though, so that'd be a big category. Uh, images from television one and two, that seems unnecessary. Let me, let's look. I mean... And this is an interesting concept. I've not heard of it. He has a lot of really interesting work, yeah. so... Those are pretty striking pictures. It's it's hard because he has a lot of pictures, but I like them all. Yeah. So I'd say it's overwhelming to look at all of these categories. And some of the names aren't really compelling, but at the same time, I click on the category and he has good pictures. So, I mean, it, he could be the exception to the rule. I, I think you have to think about the viewer when you're setting up a portfolio. Are you setting it up for the casual viewer who stumbles across you and has an attention span of a matter of seconds? Or are you setting it up for somebody who is really willing to spend a few minutes digging through all of your photos? See, my thing with him is that he seems more like a gallery artist. That you're not going to pay him to take pictures of your baby. Yeah. And he has them all named in such a way where he really thinks of these as collections. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, he seems like a gallery artist to me. So I'm almost... I'm, I'm hesitating to lump him in with the rest of the portfolios that we've seen. You're right. Everything here is fine It's so art well thought out. Look at this beautiful picture. So I think you bring up a good point. For the, the fine artist, the 
only type of people who'd be attracted to his work are the types who will dig in. I will, I so will dig into this. Catering. And I have zero attention span. Yeah. And the thing is, there's a difference between, between him thinking out all of these categories and people just saying, Maya's birthday party or Darren and Richie, you know, like he knows what he's doing. Yeah, and none of these categories have too many pictures. I mean, I, I pointed out a couple that I didn't think were as strong, but uh, overall, great. Okay, so that's an interesting study. Maybe a best of category, just because he has a lot of great shots that I wouldn't have seen if I didn't dig in. So, One of the things you can do in Squarespace is set up the opening page to be a slideshow, maybe an automatic slideshow, and then give people the ability to browse through categories. I don't know. Maybe this is perfect. I, 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 you, you've kind of sold me that this is a good idea. Well, you want to make sure his about page is functional. Let's, see, let's and find out about this. Has a picture of him. Wild man. Greetings. Greetings, right, I Jen. like that too. Yeah, he's a fine art photographer. Yeah. Great body of work, Jen. Like you. We We're going to come visit you, even though Oslo was really expensive because we tried to go there before. Yes. It's like ten dollars for a dozen eggs so we'll only be able to visit you for like two hours but we'll probably we'll just crash on your couch dan eric says i joined squarespace almost two years ago their templates make it very easy to put up a minimalist website that showcases your photos not the website itself their portfolio templates are varied and i wish there were more to choose from but that's a moot point for the time being as i found a template that works great for me i also love the simple drag and drop interface and he makes a really good point. Um, I've seen a lot of portfolios where the website itself is just is distracting from the pictures. They're yeah. like little pictures, or there are too many colors, or you know, the design is just distracting. So the focus is on your pictures. No pun intended. Jen Eric, a man that appreciates simplicity. All right, let's see. White Owl Photography. I love their logo. I love the clean layout so far. This first picture is really compelling. Yeah, and I like the name too. It's more memorable than I like. Often people use their first names and last mm -hmm. names, and that makes sense for a lot of us. But some of us have names that are difficult to spell or difficult to remember. Mm -hmm. Something like white owl photography, some a phrase that you associate with, can be much stronger than using your own name. It also lets you refer to a team of people. So I'm seeing pictures that are all over the map here. We have right portraits and candids and wildlife. What look like. Uh, this looks like a, a posed kind of sports picture. And then we have astrophotography and wedding pictures. I'm like that too. I'm a little bit schizo as a... Yeah. But they have a separate page Let's go. just of all their best pictures. People. So I guess that's what they're saying. That was their best of. I just try to get a feel for what the person's doing right away. Not too many. They have different styles. They have like street photography. This looks like an engagement shoot. Wedding photography. You know what I want to see? Are they trying to sell services? Well, that's what I'm kind of trying to figure out here. Let's see. I don't know what I just clicked on. Animals. They have a lot of beautiful pictures. Oh, look at that. Yeah, those kingfishers. Um, so I they would have, pull out this picture. Yeah, you don't have the eye in that shot. It's in shadow, so it didn't work out. Still browsing. I'm still just trying to get a feel for what they're doing. Yeah. They thought at first they were a wedding photographer because they started with a really strong wedding picture. And I don't know. Now I'm I'm not sure. They have beautiful landscapes too. I say this last one isn't as strong as some of these other ones. Yeah, and I think that fourth one might be pulled too. These are beautiful Ooh. pictures. What's this gallery called? Nature. Nature. I, I bet we could merge the nature and landscape categories. I wouldn't you know, it's okay to go ten to fifteen pictures in a category and I think if you combine those and just use your best, that'll be the number you're at. Man-made. Oh, so like architecture. Yeah, that's a strong category yeah. too. Yeah. All right, let's see what the, they're about. Uh, oh, that was a self-portrait we saw before. Okay. Ah, great. Okay. Picture of themselves, a little story about it. Yeah, I like the story. So uh, I offer my services for private portrait and engagement shoots and weddings. So I felt like that might be something that you did, but I wasn't sure because you don't have a lot of pictures in your portfolio of weddings and engagement. So um, you also don't have a pricing page. If you want people to actually yeah. contact you, you say contact me via the contact page, but you need to put prices on there or people just won't ever try to hire you. If your hopes are to be hired, put some prices up, put a menu there. It's hard to put up prices for weddings because 
they vary so much. Yeah, well, you say starting at two thousand dollars yeah. or whatever your price is. Um, so yeah, I would say to have a gallery category that is engagement shoots or weddings or whatever you're hoping to be hired for, just that people can get a better idea of your work. Yeah, maybe instead of people that included candidates have portraits and have it all be the type of professional work that you sell. Yeah. And then have a pricing page. Because I think you're ready for it. You had some great portraits and wedding shots in there. Okay, so they, they kind of have it going on. You just kind of want to mention prices because otherwise people are going to be afraid that they're going to call you and then they're going to be embarrassed because it's going to be too high. People are just more comfortable. So he has a store and you put a cool iPhone 5 case there with his picture. Oh. And his logo. Oh. That looks really good. Yeah, that is cool. That's one of the nice things that Squarespace does is every site now includes a store, even if you get the base level. I, I wanted it's only one item, but I wanted experience with the store, so I put up a few of our t shirts uh -huh. for sale and it was so easy to list them. And yeah. the store looks great. And people bought stuff and the money just shows up in your checking account. It was awesome. Yeah, it worked out great. It has helped with the shipping and stuff like that. Anyway, super easy to use, really functional. Uh, that's one of the reasons we really like the Squarespace sites. Wait, do we know his name? You should definitely say your name. Yeah, I yeah, Photography is a very personal thing. I think it's okay to call it... Oh, Liam. Oh, okay. It's okay to call it White Owl Photography. But yeah, you might make your name a little more prominent. Very cool. I like his Nicely portfolio. Done. Liam from White Owl Photography says, I came from WordPress because I got sick of how fiddly it was. I was blown away by the simplicity of Squarespace. Everything just works perfectly. I'm now a very happy Squarespace customer. There you go. Liam likes it. You might like it too. This picture makes me so uneasy. <laughs> I love this. It's such so refreshing to see something just completely wildly that different. That haunts your dreams <laughs> and makes you want to die. It's so scary. But it is cool. They did a good job. with. Technically, it's very great. Okay. Let's see. We're in the people category? I can't stop staring at that picture. I don't, Man. I can't either. It's burned into my brain. Manipulation of perception. Oh, some nice street photography. That's oh, very that's cool. cool. That's cute. Nice kind of candid Do portrait. I was not ready. Great. To yeah, those again. pictures were all pretty compelling and interesting. You just can't. Get, get away from that man hand. I can't. It's everywhere. <laughs> Let's go to nature and see what's going on. Ooh. Some lightning pictures, lightning. mushrooms filled with water. Very pretty. Might just pick the best of those two mushroom yeah. pictures. I like the first one better. Oh, that's Wouldn't cute. Hurt to, yeah, that's, that is cute. But just, you got to pick your favorite one. Yeah, just pick guy. one of the jumping spider. Wow. That has startled me. Mixing that in with nature no, is upsetting. No, it's fine. I never wanted to sleep again anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, they're almost as intelligent as a human, yeah. but they have eight legs and poison. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's a terrible, Not terrible my worst thing nightmare. you've done. I need to see that one again. Wow. Just the fact that he mixed it in with regular animal pictures I know. totally caught me I off know. Guard. That's what it is. He did a good job, too. It's so scary. I'm... Now I'm just weirded out. Like, I think I'm that's afraid. just a normal mandrill, but... I'm afraid. Yeah, we're all really nervous. Okay, this seems pretty normal. Snow leopard. Some kind pretty. of hawk. That's a parrot. Right? right? Parrot. Probably, since it's in a flower. Right. He's handsome, not crazy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm tense now. God only knows what's going to come in the objects. <laughs> These are cool shots. Very cool. I yeah, like that you try cool. new things. Ooh, some levitation photography. Very neat. Very yeah. neato. That's a, is that the same shot, just processed differently? I would say just... E either way, oh, we should narrow very it down. Similar. The blue one is definitely the stronger picture. This one can go completely. The watch shot is nice. Nice and professional. That's a nice one. Some good product photography in there. good shots there. Places. All right, an observatory. Good. These all seem to be nice and solid shots. That's a beautiful picture. Yeah. That is really nice. Yeah. Photo stories. What's that about? Dealing, Dealing with really deterioration. Oh. All right, so it looks like a documentary photography project, a, a nursing home. I, 
you know, I don't... The, the title of it is so dark, dealing with deterioration, but... I like it. I don't think any of the pictures are necessarily dark. No. But I, I think it's an interesting set of pictures. I just I question whether Beauty the of dark both name worlds. is required. I see. So that's a cool theme, going between natural and man-made beauty. In that, keeping that common perspective. I like that. Nicely done. I like sets of pictures. I it's do not too. something we see all that often, but I'm always excited when we do see it. Let's see who this wild character is. 19 year old. Wow. Well, I can't believe the guy's 19. <laughs> Aren't you jealous Richardson. of these people so young and yet Haunting already so my skilled? dreams since 2014. I've got a gear page here. Wow. You got a lot wow. of gear. And you have a contact page. Well, I'd like to see a picture of you and an email address on the contact page. You can merge the about. You see the eyeball pages. hands? Yeah. But, eyeball hands. Well, you know, I guess we, this, sorry to, I guess this is the picture we get of him. <laughs> we That's see him his hand on and, every and, finger. Um, Terrifying me. Wow. Well, that was an adventure. Thanks for sharing that. Um, great job. We had a couple of suggestions for you, but overall, your body of work is coming along just great. This is Bodie Richardson's what he had to say about Squarespace. Really freakishly easy to use. Freakishly. I'm used to developing my own websites, but for my portfolio that I want to update all of the time quickly and easily, there's no comparison. For others, there's no need for a webmaster. Magic. It's all instant and controllable. Thanks for the show. And he said, P.S. I'm a student from Australia, so it's hard to actually catch your show live all the time. So I'm submitting now. Sorry. That's perfectly fine. <laughs> See, and even the techies like it. They, they do. You want to check out sporkphotos.com? I do. Well, this is an interesting start. The picture seems out of focus. Mm. Okay, candid. Let's dig into that. Wanna drive? Yeah, I want to drive. Let's go to the about first. A spork. A spork photo is a production of Jacob F. Roker. I like um, the name spork photo. It makes him sound versatile. Spork. Kind of talks about how cool he is. On some level, it just makes sense. All right. Spork's okay. got a picture of himself. I like your picture. I like that you have your name there. Um, I, to be honest, I don't think I'd start with like the general braggy stuff. Just to be honest with you, because yeah, I think that, that your, was my take too. I think yeah. that your portfolio should speak for itself. So, I think that that shows that you like have initiative and you're a hard worker, but I don't think you need to tell us. I think you should just let your your pictures tell the story. Yeah, show us you're cool. Don't tell us you're cool. Yeah. I mean, I tell people I'm cool because I'm not, and so I'm trying to trick them. <laughs> but you don't have to do that. You're probably talented <laughs> enough. All right, I'm going to go to the portfolio first and see some portraits or some portraits. Oh, I love that nice full-screen Squarespace interface. It's my favorite when people pick know, those full-screen templates. I like this. I like unusual beauty. Yeah. Great light on that. Nice clean background. Cute, intimate shot. I like that. Good Poor exposure baby. on that. <laughs> I like this. Oh, one what a lot. great expression. Kind of an action shot. That's cute. Candid. Very nice. Yeah, these are all great pictures. Great exposures on all of them. Just no real problems to, to mention. I don't feel like any of them are particularly weak. Were there other categories? I didn't notice. This this photo, I think, is weak. Yeah, not the strongest one? Yeah, just like, um, I don't know, like the blown out background. I feel like it maybe just needs to be cropped down so that they're more of the focus. But uh, you want to end on a stronger picture, I think. Yeah. It wasn't a bad picture. No. It just didn't, wasn't as wasn't solid as, as the rest as of his of portfolio. Ooh, I love this one. Yeah, I like that one too. That's Makes so Makes me peaceful. feel like a little garden gnome. That's a great shot. That, oh, I love that fog. Gorgeous shot. This one's a bit busy for me. Not yeah, no, no pop, no focal point to it. That's really nice, though. Yeah. Wow, that's a gorgeous wow. place. I want to go Where there. Is that. That's really nice light. All right. So I would have ended on a stronger picture again. How do I get back? You have to go all the way through again. Um, there, there's a place usually where you can see. Usually the difference is clicking to the left or right, but I think that just didn't work for you. No. All right. Let's just keep going. He has the option of, you can configure all this in Squarespace, and you can also show a button for thumbnails, and a lot of people like the thumbnails, so you might want to turn that on. This is travel.
Oh, it looks like oh. Austria. Okay. Beautiful. Got some nice pictures there. Was that his lead picture, though? This. No. That, I felt like that was street photography. I didn't get that it fit into the other. Most of these are kind of beautiful location shots. I don't know. I might pull out the picture of those guys eating. This is his lead. Oh, okay, I, that's a good one. That shouldn't be the second picture. Okay, let's contact him. Jacob. Spork photos. He's from Germany. Jacob does have a pricing page. Let's see how expensive Jacob is. I like Jacob. He's got a lot of energy, and he's telling me I'm amazing, and I believe him. <laughs> Check out his pricing page. Oh, that is a bargain. An hour for $25. <laughs> That's too cheap. That's too cheap. Wow. He is in Germany. He's it's free for that cancer survivors. Him. That's really nice. That is nice. How do you well, prove it? I, would somebody lie about that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> the world is full of I guess it's free people. for cancer survivors and people willing to lie about being a cancer survivor. <laughs> <laughs> a family portrait for one hour, $50. So his prices are a huge bargain, but I, I think this is a great idea for people who just want some experience. And he even says, I want to take your picture. He's basically just making sure for 25 bucks, it's almost free, but he's, the person at least is, has some skin in the game. They know, you know, that they know that they're serious if they contact him. I would just go ahead and combine your pricing and contact page so people can get in touch okay. with you right, right away. But uh, yeah, I like that idea. I think his pricing is selling himself short a little bit. At that point, you may as well just do your family members' photos for free to build your portfolio, mm -hmm. and then, and then charge a reasonable amount. Hmm. Yeah, I, I hear a lot of people who feel negative about people who don't charge enough, like they're bringing down the entire industry. But at the same time, I think when you don't have a lot of experience, you can't justify charging full rate prices, and you do need to build your portfolio. I, I I'm, I'm, I'm for it. You're but you're right. It? I'm also for working for free as much as you can. Yeah. So you get up that body a portfolio and can actually make some work. Well, Spork, we Spork. liked your portfolio. We liked him. We liked him. Sporkinator. Uber professional, folks. It's missing the customization you get from a WordPress site, but you get a lot more time to work on your art as opposed to customizing your website. Easily the most efficient way to have a professional site that works across all browsers and platforms. And he also makes a good point that you don't want to put all of your time into your website. You want to actually take pictures. Yeah. And it makes a really bad impression if your website's down or you have broken links and Squarespace is just foolproof in that way. Let's jump over John to Louis. John Louis photo. John Louis. All right. Um, I love these first couple of pictures. I'm already go. drawn in. It makes you want to just browse through. These are distinctive. They're, they're processed, Ooh. Um, heavy, the gritty kind of little saturated. slice of life. Yeah. I like these a lot. I know this isn't everybody's bag, but I like this type of photography. I love that picture of the light. I don't know, it's simple, but I like it. Just like me. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed, to be honest. Yeah, I would pare that down a little Every bit. Every picture is really intense, and so just seeing them side by side, I just think this might not be the right format for his photography. Look at this one. One blends into another. You have a ton of bright lights, a ton of bright lights, a ton of bright lights. But Squarespace does have other uh, templates where the pictures are separated physically. So You're right. He needs a little space between the pictures. Look, or go it's full just like screen. One busy picture leading into another busy picture. And the pictures are great. But one is always robbing the attention of another one. Like this one is not just standalone. Yeah, that's my that's my biggest complaint so far. Yeah, so the sliding template isn't going to be the right one for you. You can pick different templates, so they yeah. have a lot of different templates. It's visually exhausting. It works for some styles, but yeah. I think for your style it doesn't. See but everything people. can be customized. That's one of the nice things about Squarespace. See, with the people it's not as bad. Because no. they're, they're like defined boundaries. Yes, exactly right. There's, there's contrast between the pictures, mm -hmm. light to dark. The pictures are different enough that it doesn't bother me. I like that guitar shot. That's really cute. Great people shots. Look at that yeah. sneaky little girl. All these shots are nice. That looks like oh, a great studio I love this of picture shot. of this guy. He has so much character. Yeah. These are great shots. Really nice. You might even... Lead with I, these. For the average person, I would put people before street. Because I was totally into the street and cityscape pictures, but this is what most people want to see. I really like these. This picture of this guy is my favorite. Yeah. I, I think you're ready to do... I don't see a pricing page, but you can definitely do it. You're good. He does good. events. Look at this. Ah! 
Yeah, where's this pricing page? Th this is prograde work. Yeah, these are great event shots. These ones need to be separated as well. Okay. Yeah, we're suggesting a template change. One to event a just like merged into the other too. Yeah, it's you're right. It causes it to feel cluttered. Yeah, products. These are beautiful product pictures. Again, these need space between them. Excelente. Not too many. And nature. Sparse, but pretty. Yeah, you might want to just hold that back until you fill out the category a bit more. I think I'd lead with this simple shot, the last one, too. I might and just then let's pull find out about now. this. John. <laughs> what it, John am I doing with this site? I really have no idea. <laughs> I like that. It says he's focused on street photography, which is why he leads with it, but your portrait and headshot work was so excellent, and your event work was Shame so excellent. Selfie. Like, if you don't want to do that, don't do it, but you could sell it. In I which case, it, just put up pricing and, and lead with it. But otherwise, if you just do it as a hobby and you don't feel like putting it up, that's fine too. Yeah. But you're ready. It was I think good work. John is also selling himself short. You know what you're doing. You're taking great pictures. So. Oh, he says he's not taking any clients on at the moment. Check back in shortly. Okay. I Why guess not? John doesn't want to work professionally, but he could. Why not, John? All right. We got one more portfolio that we'll Dalla do here. Dalla. David Skinner. Let me capture your story. All right, so now he does have pricing. We're leading with what looks like wedding photography, event photography. I like this kind of candid wedding style, and a lot of people request that now. I like that a lot. feels almost paparazzi-ish. I was just pondering whether to put that one in black and white, though I guess it's all about the color. I, I was just a little distracted by her mascara and hair, but She's a you can't take the bride. color out of her. That's a beautiful shot. Yeah, that one too. These are, these are all great shots. Um, okay, I will, however, suggest paring it down a little. This is Ooh, I like that ring shot. too many pictures. Yeah, there are great shots in here. You know, let's provide some suggestions. On, well, which of these would you pull? Like that one should go. Let me let me drive. Oh, you drive. Baby. Take over. I get rid of that one. I would get rid of this one because the only thing I can see is this door. Okay. Yeah. Or crop out this or something. Yeah. I love this ring shot. That, that, you know, that last picture, the crop is so weird on it. It feels like she broke up with somebody and they cut the picture in half. I, I think her pose and dress are great. The exposure is great, but I just don't like the crop on it. I'd pull it. Oh, boy. This one's That's really nice. That's a solid picture, yeah. and I like the unusual crop on that. That works for me. It's a nice cake picture. I'd get rid I'd of this one. I'd crop that cake picture, too. Yeah, that one should go. It just doesn't engage. This is really nice. Keep that, keep that. For That's sure. a great shot. I love the direct eye yeah. contact. So I think that dress. I think that he, uh, this person led with this photo, and I think that there were stronger pictures. And also, like, yeah. there's no detail on the dress, but we're looking at the back of it. I think there's a bow here, but we can't really see it. Yeah. So lead with your strongest picture, and I would also pick a picture with color and a fairly simple comp. That might be a great lead picture of the little girl. See, I like to pick the picture, or I would, uh, the one that the bride would choose, because I think that they don't want to be sexist. I think the bride usually picks the photographer, and she wants to imagine herself that in might your be, picture. That dress might be a good picture to start with, too. I think a picture oh, like this. That one. Yeah, direct eye contact. Yes. Yeah. Great. Yes, that's your first picture. Every... Every bride wants to be either her or the girl, the last picture we were talking about. All right, let's see. Engagement. Oh, the engagement shoots. I'd say the same thing with the engagement shoot. Let's see. So we have a lot of this couple. I'd probably pick just the best ones of them. Yeah, those, those should definitely be paired down some. Them. I don't know how many pictures we have in this site yet. That's a really nice picture. I like her eye contact. The last picture was definitely stronger than this picture, I think. Oh, I see. That's a picture of the ring, but it might need to be cropped to make that a little more obvious. <laughs> that one's really that cute. One's, that one belongs in the set, yeah. All right. Back to the beginning. So we had this is one two of separate str couples. strongest pictures. Yeah, I would definitely weed those down a little bit and maybe alternate between the couples so yeah. at least you get the sense of more diversity. And I will say, I can see that you, it looks like you've done two engagement shoots. 
there's nothing wrong with getting a couple of your friends and having them act like they're engaged. <laughs> that could be really awkward. <laughs> no, like a dating couple or something, or even oh, okay. a couple that's already married. Oh, man, you're putting some <laughs> pressure on the couple who's just been dating for a month, and you're like, here, pretend you're getting engaged. <laughs> You, they, you don't have to say that to them. You can just say like, it's let definitely me take, an end in a fight. Let me take some couple <laughs> pictures of you and you get some pictures of a couple and then you have more models and it looks like you have more experience. And you actually yeah. do have more experience. So it's not a lie. You're just practicing on people that aren't really paying you for an engagement shoot. Yeah. So enlist your good looking friends. Huh? Give them some pre free pictures. <laughs> You're always thinking about the fight. The marriage fight. <laughs> so there's a lot of pressure on guys. Portraits. Looking good. Yeah, these are all solid so far. I would I would crop this down a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of negative space here. I'm going to suggest, looking at his body of work here, that he work on posing a little bit. Because all of his poses are head completely straight. Everything seems to be kind of square. Mm -hmm. Um a little head tilt goes a long way. If she had a feminine head tilt with her head tilted towards the camera just a little bit, mm -hmm. she, it would be so much more consistent with the mood. She'd seem so much friendlier. This tiny little fraction of a head tilt can make so much difference. It's disarming Yeah, tilt your head a little. And But with Posing her sh really shoulders difficult. almost square and her head almost square, it almost seems like a, a little aggressive while the rest of her pose is nice and friendly. It's inconsistent. Okay. Pricing. So wedding packages, they have a starting price, engagement, they have a starting price. Yeah, that's what I'm about. Just give some sort of pricing that people, so they kind of know what your basis a is. A lot of people have no idea, I will say that. I mean, I think it's difficult to say, this is what your wedding will cost, but I've had people come to me before and they're like, I, I don't even know. Is it $1,000? Is it $5,000? Where, where are you going to be? Yeah, it gives them a, a basis and it gets them to call you at least. Yeah. And then you can start that negotiation. You could cut the price if you wanted to, but at least you got them on the phone. If there's not a price, they usually just won't contact I will say, I don't list my prices just because it depends. It really depends on the job for me. Yeah, we do mostly word of mouth nowadays anyway. And people get so annoyed if they think it's too high. They're like, don't I get a I met you once discount? <laughs> you know? <laughs> All the time. Everybody like, expects a discount. Um, Discounts don't pay the bills, babe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Four photographers. Oh, I like this. You get a little. Oh, look, they got the 70 to 200. Yeah, the Mark II. Cool. Good shots. I liked it. Yes, and that also is a Squarespace portfolio. We just love the layout of them, the full yeah, screen the interfaces, full screen. and it works great on your mobile devices, too. Uh, we both use Squarespace for our portfolios. We couldn't be happier. They are a sponsor of ours. Oh, we never did an about. Oh, we missed His it. His name is David. Hi, David. Hey, David. What's our homework for David? Uh, he's got to weed out some of his pictures. This guy's young. He's got to exchange and handsome. A few. He's definitely got good-looking friends that he can make model for him. Yeah. <laughs> make your friends do it. <laughs> if you want a portfolio that looks as cool as one of these, these were all Squarespace hosted, and they all work perfectly. Beautiful interfaces. Square who? Squarespace. <laughs> Go to squarespace.com slash Tony. And use the coupon code portfolio. If you decide to sign up, no need to pay yeah, or put a credit card number for in for 14 days. days. The user interface is amazing. Very simple to set up. Just drag your pictures in. You can customize it all you want and choose from a lot of different templates. And you probably won't have a problem, but if you do, the Care Bear layer is there to help you out. 24-7. I didn't need it because I'm advanced. But how many did? Yeah, they usually get back to you within an hour. And all of the people who've set up Squarespace because of us, uh, they have nothing but positive things to say. It's really great. Is that all? That's it. Just subscribe to see more free videos and give us a like. Any questions, just uh, write a comment for us. Thanks so much. Thank you.